Welcome to Niigata Station. That 509, 1509 is a 309 Toki Shinkansen to Tokyo. That's what I'm going to be riding. So we have ex approximately 20 minutes or so to do a live stream of Niigata. Hey everybody, I'm in Niigata Station. I thought this would be a great opportunity before I head back to Tokyo to introduce you, to orientate you to Niigata Station. It's, it's a different station. This is definitely not Tokyo. Here is the entrance. There's Chibi Mariko-chan on the side of the bus for Kei's Denki. You see here, loads of taxis. This is what the outside of Niigata Station looks like. Those that used to live here in Niigata, there might be some uh, English teachers, expats that were in the area before. This is what it looks like today. I know what it's like. I'm very nostalgic for the places I used to live in. Um, every time the station area, the station front of every station is usually the most important. Lots of businesses, lots of things to see and do here. Lots of restaurants. Here's the other side, the taxi stand. The other, the other side of the station also has other businesses that you can go in and uh, enjoy. But there's also inside this station a place where you can drink all sorts of Japanese sake. And I already featured this in a, a main channel episode about four years ago in another area of Niigata. But Niigata is very famous for Japanese sake. So let's go take a look around and maybe even find that sake place. But I want to introduce you to this. We started off at the, at the entrance to the JR station. I already have my Shinkansen ticket. Check it out. This is the Shinkansen ticket back. Car six, seat, seat A. Ah, say shimasu. Seat A, row 18. Non-smoking Toki from Niigata to Tokyo. Boom. All right, let's look at some of the stuff that they have in here. Um, the gifts, well, there's some matcha. Gifts, these are really good. Inside here is rice wrapped up in these leaves. It's also very famous in Niigata area. Here's some more omiyage. This is a uh, Niigata omiyage. So always have very interesting gifts every single region of Japan. Edamame, check that out. Edamame with um, some, it looks like white anko or something mixed in there, it looks really good. Inside this building, Kokolo is where I believe you can find the sake. Let's look right now at the train lines that go through Niigata Station. Right here. If you compare this to Tokyo, absolutely can't do it. There's, Tokyo's got a bazillion train lines going through here, but what you can see is right here, that's the center of it all, Niigata and the stations are not in English here because you don't need to have it in English. Most people are, are Japanese on this side of the country. But if you do go to the tickets um, area, you can choose English. All carrying provisions will be displayed. So there you go. You, you can get it in English, including charging your Suica card or getting limited express Shinkansen tickets. Right here, you can get the Joetsu all the way to Tokyo and buy it from this vending machine. It's the same price as this ticket I have right here. So you don't have to worry about the language so much. Ticket ordering in English. That's right, Jim. Or if you want to, you can wait in the window, but I always go to the, the booths because it's faster. All right, let's go inside of the Coco Law. You ready? Let's see what we can find. Oh, delicious desserts. Now, every single department store has uh, a depachka or a place where they sell food, this is also the s true of this place. So we're gonna go take a quick look at and find this Japanese sake drinking place. Oh, it looks like a supermarket here. Hey, Adrian's in the house. Really enjoy your content. Thank you, Adrian, I appreciate that. It's a Japanese bakery. Let's see what they got here. Oh, this looks really cute. It's a heart bread. All right, oh, all right, let's get out of here. I came here for, we're going to go check out the booze. Oh, takoyaki. Oh yeah. 
They're not fresh though. It's usually they're making it. Okay, let's get out of here. We have 20 minutes to explore this station. Nagata is the terminus for the Joetsu Shinkansen. There are many Shinkansen. I know there's a bullet train, you say bullet train in English, but in Japan there are many bullet train lines. There's a Tokaido, which is the main one that goes from Tokyo down to Osaka and to Fukuoka, Hakata. Then there's the uh, Tohoku, there's the Joetsu, which is the, this one that comes to Niigata. And there's also the Akita Shinkansen, the Nagano Shinkansen. There's a ton of other Shinkansen lines. And the, the Sanyo Shinkansen line, the Kyushu Shinkansen line. Um, so it's a different world. And now the Shinkansen goes all the way up to Hakodate, which is really cool. Uh, Dr. Zark's in there. All right, we're gonna see. Let's see if we can buy something, shall we? Okay, look at this. So we're now, we're now crossing to the other side of the station. That's interesting. So these are some local trains from Niigata. Where's this headed to? It's hard to read. But there's this a, a bridge that goes over the top of it. In Tokyo Station, there's um, a connection underground. So, oh, there's a Shinkansen platform. All right, and they're, they're building something new in Niigata Station. Be interesting what they have in a couple of years because it's always changing. Uh, yes, difference engine, I am on my way back home. I spent four days on Sado Island um, at the Earth Celebration, and I was kind of scouting it just to get an idea of what Sado Island's like. I filmed a lot of stuff, so it should be a lot of fun to get that content back home and start editing it. I love these station walkthroughs. Every time you go to a new area of Japan, you get to see inside of the station a lot of the culture of the area. And Niigata has a lot of its own culture. Here, I can give you a quick overview. This is when Niigata station on the map. So we were here. This is where we started the live stream. I walked outside, showed you this area. And now we're on this bridge crossing to the other side. And this one looks like it's brand new. So I'm excited to go over there. Niigata is right off of the coast. You can see that's Sarogashima, Saro, Saro Island. That's where I went to. It looks like a butterfly. This is where the last four days of live streams were. And this is the city of, and this is actually out there further. They've cut the map so it looks closer than it really is. And this is Niigata City. It's off of this Shimano River. And uh, we are where? Here, Niigata Station. So, a little bit of orientation. The seafood and the sake in Niigata are exceptional. This would be like the Bordeaux of Japanese sake, if you were to compare like that. All right, Kokolo is the same place as the Ichiko Yuzawa sake booth, so I'm guessing that it's gonna be somewhere around here. Um, go to plus. Omeyage, gourmet. Museum. Sports. All right, let's, I think, I think we're going to find it in here. All right, so this side of the station is a little bit, a little bit newer a lot wider, and get this, there's a big camera electronic store inside of the station. So if you're looking for an SD card or something, you can get that right here. That's pretty crazy. Oh, there it is right there. Do you see that? So there's a big camera selling alcohol, <laughs> and electronics. Whoa! Big cameras in Tokyo as well. It's a pretty big electronics shop. Here's the... Um, was it in there? I think it's in there. This is, this is the... Let's go, let's, let's go take a look in here. This is the restaurant con. 
So let's look at the restaurants that are in here really quickly. Just take a, a quick look around. You can already see on the map. Interesting. That's a Japanese looking restaurant right there. Look at the entrance to it. Looks like a festival. All right, and this one looks really good too. So there's a ton of places to grab a bike to eat before you get on the Shinkansen, and I like that. The soba looks so good. Do you see that? Moss Burgers represented inside the station. And I've been in here. Oh, that's a mean onigiri. Oh, jeez. ATMs. These are the 7-Eleven ATMs. So it'll take Western ATM cards. All right, this looks like it's... There's what I'm talking about. Look at all these different Japanese sakes here. They're all represented. One of the sake breweries I went to um, is the one run by Robert De Niro. And it was really good. All right, that's not it. Let's get out of here. I told Kat I would be, I would meet her, but I can't find out where she is. All right, let's go. Let's go over to the other side here. Um, yeah, so we did an amazing amount of live streaming on Sato Island. Go back over the last couple of days to take a look at it because um, it's not a kind of place that, that is high on people's destination lists when you come to Japan. Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, Hiroshima, I get it. But I think the trips that you remember the most when you come to Japan are, the, are those side trips to the countryside. Those places are more meaningful because you're really getting into the Japanese culture. You're really getting an amazing experience. I'm still looking for that booze place, Ponzakan, something like that. All right, let's take a quick looky-see. Mm. Mm. All right, let's keep going. We're now walking through the heart of the station. Hi, John, from the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas area. How you doing? Nice to see everybody, South Carolina, Southern California. If you want to write in where you're watching from, that was, that was pretty neat last night to see everybody during the Tyco presentation uh, performance last night to write in their locations. It's always a good time to call you out and participate in the live stream and the chat. And you can see if you're watching this in the playback, the live chat to see where everyone's watching from. It's kind of neat. Wow, look at this big Kaiten sushi place. Whoa, and these, these sushi places, you can see underneath there, they always serve a lot of neat Japanese sake because this is Niigata. Beer is good, but in Niigata, you want to drink sake. I never, that's a good combination. Competition, combination. You can see here the timetable. The, there aren't as many trains, so maybe four times an hour they're leaving. So each line, each row is is that hour. Twelve o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock. There aren't that many trains. This is the Hakushin line in pink, the Ichigo line in green, and on, on the left side is the Shinetsu line. And uh, trains. This is the east entrance. Trains are not very frequent in Niigata because the population isn't as high as it is in Tokyo. All right, I'm looking hard for this booze place. Oh, this is a Japanese sake store. So the sake stores in Japan, they often will put the sake in boxes like that. And if you're lucky at the station, you can find them prepackaged in boxes where you can try little bottles of everything. I like this. For This one's for $18 and this one's for about $25. This is a set of five and a set of three. 
it's a pretty good deal. Eki Ben, let's see what they got on 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 uh, display here. The Nigata Gyuton Bento. That's beef. Very nice. Then you got the Wagyu Bento. Whoa. That looks pretty good. You got the Wagyu Bento. And the, what is that? The Gizami Wasabi de Taberu Nigata Wagyu Yakiniku Bento. That's a long name. Just looking at this one. It has wasabi in it. And on the left side, that looks like a potato or an egg. I can't, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. This is a weird bento. Yuki Daruma Bento. A snow daruma. It's an ugly looking daruma, but let's be kind. It's made of snow. Oh, Ebi. Dore ichiban ninki desu ka? A kore? A kore desu ka? The Ebi Sen Man Chirashi. That's this one. That looks pretty good too. Has some unagi in there. Nice. I just ate lunch. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not like hoping for more lunch, but I could get something for the train. What time is it? Anyone has the time? These live streams can go long and I could miss my train. All right. Oh, my phone is right here. Why doesn't the YouTube app tell me what time it is? All right, good, we have 10 minutes. I don't want to miss this train. All right, I can get some booze or something, right? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get something for the train ride back. inside. All right, I see refrigerators. We're looking for sake or something to drink on the train. Um, this is nigori sake. Oh no, this is amazake. How wrong I am. I love amazake. This is sake with very little or almost no alcohol. And you can see it's it's um, got pieces of the rice in there. Um, very healthy for you. Uh, Kanai doesn't drink alcohol, so I always get her amazake. I have a bottle for her in my bag. Once again, the variety of sake in Niigata is like so much bigger than in, in uh, Tokyo because people drink sake here. Even the beer is a little bit different. Um, they have some really good, the Hgo Beer Company, Flying IPA. Do you see that? These are all really good beers of uh, uh, local craft beers. But I definitely need to get a drink here. Oh, here it is right here. This is a good IPA. All right, let's see if we can find some. Oh, look at the line is so long. What? All right, here's some unigiri. That's a big unigiri, isn't it? Chicken, chicken namban. Oh, that looks really good, but I'm not hungry. These wrap sandwiches have been getting popular in Japan. Tortillas are not a big deal here, but recently you're starting to see them more in Tokyo. They, they can charge a high price for something that's so, so cheap. All right. Oh, these are ki kibi dango. So let, let me get some of these dango. I think I can get some of these dango as a gift. Um, and I wanted to get some sake. I want to get some sake and a kibidango. It's not that easy. These ebi crackers are really flavorful. All 
my kibidango and some sake. Oh, I found some that's been refrigerated. There's some sake down here. Okay, which one's good? It's, I don't, I don't want to drink a cup of sake. I feel like an alcoholic. All right. This looks like fun beer. I'm gonna try this, okay. And I'm gonna get some kiwi dango. These are kiwi dango. I'll show you on the train. All right, let's get this. I gotta get the train. It's a, it's 5:09. Or sorry, 3:09. So I have about. Uh, Oh, Buzz Lightyear. Hey, Buzz. How you doing? Feeling good? Ay. Ay. Uh, onigashimasu. Sen... And my change was Rokujun yen. For 62 yen. There you go. Alright everybody, are you ready? John has food, John has beer, John has time. Very rare to have all this free time. As you can see, my train is at 3.09, not 3 p.m., Jim, and I have nine minutes. This is too rare, this is, this is way too much time for me. Where's the drama? Ah, somebody just said that the, that the sake place is on the second floor, the, uh, or not the third floor, not the second floor. I should have gone up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you the excitement. We're gonna take a look at the train. Police officers are in pretty good shape here, wouldn't you say? She's a famous police officer, so she signed here. There's signatures on her leg. So we're on platform 14, the Joetsu Shinkansen. Let's do this. Follow those people. I don't, I don't come to Niigata that often. I mean, to Niigata Station. Um, Eichiko Yuzawa, if you're coming from Tokyo, you kind of stop in the mountains. That's the reason for you to come to Niigata. So to come to Niigata City is pretty, it's pretty unique for me. It's not something I do quite, do often. Um, I did buy our, my Patreon supporters, the Daimyo. I bought your goods here in Niigata and I'm bringing them back. Um, so some of my friends who are probably waiting at the train right now were nice enough to bring it. Uh, here we are. The train's here! I wanted to get you uh, rolling into the station. Oh well. Alright, let's do this. I'm in car number six. This car number four. Would you guys want to see the front of the train? All right, let's get to see the front of the train. See the front of the train. I like to see the front of the train. The signs are so awesome. Boom! Shinkansen. 
The nose will open up to connect with other trains, by the way. I've seen that. Look at the lines on her. I just love it. Ah, oh, Shinkansen, come to John. You're so beautiful. The lines on her. All right. There's a place to buy bentos as well, Nigata Bento, but it's closed or out of business. I'm not sure which. All right, I gotta get to car number six. One more. Ah, oh, she's making the announcement. She's the one making the announcement. You're so small now, lady. Oh, oh train, okay. <laughs> Boom. Check it. Six, six, 18A. For to the Toki for Tokyo, baby. This is a game I like to play. All right, number 18. Let's see, hey, okay. 18, 18. Car six, 18, seat A, window. Where are they? Where is everybody else? They have my bags. Oh, my friend Ruth and Kiara are not on the train. Where are they? Is this the right train? 309. Number 6, 18A. Yeah. Nobody's here. Maybe I'm on the wrong train. All right, guys. I'm. Um, give me a... I thought I was in the wrong spot. Just we had different tickets in different places. So welcome to the Joe at Shinkansen. John is fine. John is happy. John is saying goodbye to Niigata. So there you go. I'm a seasoned traveler. It's true. It's a true story. Are you guys want to see this Kibidango? You want to see? Uh, is that a Kibidango? Uh, let me, let's take a look at. Let's take a look at what I bought here. starting to move. Mochi. 
This is mochi, fresh mochi, and in the center of it is red bean paste. It's so good. Yeah, it's really good. So let's eat this on the Shinkansen here. Uh, sasa dango. Yeah. Uh, mm. It's filled with um, it's filled with red bean paste, but it takes some of the flavor from this hapa, this leaf. It's not a banana leaf, but it takes it takes it, it could be a bamboo leaf maybe, but it takes some of the flavor of it, and it's really good. for Niigata, um, this guy, and this is the Toki. The Toki is a bird famous for, for silent where I was, and one of the birds of, of Japan that was extinct but has been brought back. Um, you can find them on the island. This is a beer. I know, it, it, it has cartoon characters on it, but it's a beer. This is Japan. It's gonna be good. Um, Niigata characters it's a craft beer. Yeah. And here's some more characters of Niigata. Hold on a second. So you see some of the characters of the Niigata on the craft beer. It's pretty neat. Uh, German Pilsner, very, very German Pilsner taste. I threw it. Combine, combine everything. Check in, in, enjoy the view a little bit before we we end this live stream. I, I believe we're going to be going through some uh, some beautiful scenery on this trip. But right now we're going at about a 200 and. 70 kilometers per hour and we're gonna to start to pick up speed once we get out of the uh, more of the city center But I love coming out on the Shinkansen. Here we go. Here are all the Niigata rice fields. Do you see that? Beautiful I did buy an omiyake for Kanai. I bought her um, some amazake as well as this kibidango I'm gonna bring for her. And I got her some chocolates and oh, one other thing, some kaki jelly, which is jelly made from kaki, a fruit that's very famous on Sado Island. So she's gonna like that. And I, I shouldn't say because if she watches this live stream, she's gonna know what the present is. That's all right. Uh, Dr. Zark's got some takoyaki. Oh no, wishes he had takoyaki. I'll try to get some takoyaki this week then. Let's do a takoyaki run. Midnight snack, maybe. But the, all this down here are the rice patties and it's, it's getting to about the end of summer. October is the season where they harvest it and all this green that you see turns to gold. It's so beautiful right before they harvest the rice. And Niigata is just filled with rice patties. And this is only about five, 10 minutes from the station, right? It's, it's just a wonderful, beautiful agricultural prefecture with some of the best sake because they got some of the best rice and some of the best water coming from those mountains and the Japanese Alps, which are, which are that way. We're, we're going to go through the Alps. So in about, in about um, 15 minutes from now, it's just all tunnel. So this is a good opportunity for me to, to show you what um, the Juatsu Shinkansen is like on the Sea of Japan side, on the Niigata side. It's really nice. Yeah. 
I enjoyed my time in, on Sato Island. It was a lot of fun. Um, but I will be back in November, I think, to film more on Hodo, which is the Taiko group, because they have a pretty unique lifestyle, and I'm interested in that. I think they have a very successful recipe for how they conduct their business, how, and how they make apprenticeship work. And So I want to thank all of our Patreons for the support uh, that allows me to travel around Japan like this. So thank you very much. Uh, I'll be trying to find some more stories that are compelling, that uh, kind of takes in the culture of Japan and all around the country. So I've got some really great ideas. Um, yeah, it's going to be nice to get back to Tokyo. Uh, I've, I've been away for four days and start to edit some of the content that I've been filming. So there's going to be a new episode this week. And I think there's going to be an episode, one episode a week for a while now. Because I've just had so much content. It's about just starting to edit it now. Uh, the next one might be either a car one or an amusement park one. So we'll see. But uh, lots of really good content. Yeah, so leave me a comment below. and Let me know which, where you have traveled, what episodes you're interested in seeing, where you'd like me to go to next. And uh, a lot of the ideas that I film are from you. So I really appreciate that, uh, the community that we have. If you're not on the Discord server, uh, definitely join us there. It's a chance for us to have a 365 day a year, 24 hours a day uh, place where we can talk. All right, see everybody. Stopping at the next station already. Tsubame Sanjo.